Hi everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be trying out a foundation that I have been seeing time and time again. It's just been popping up in my Instagram feed and it got me. So I went and found it on Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive, so I don't feel too awful bad if I hate it. So <laughs> let's try this one out to see if it's good for mature skin. It actually had a model that was around our age and it looked great. But you know, you never know. You never know if they tweak those photos or what. So I'm gonna find out today how it performs on my mature skin. I would love to pronounce this right, right out of the gate, but I'm gonna try a couple ways. I'm gonna say this is either pronounced Fera or Fora not sure. I went ahead and got two colors because you know how it is. You just don't know. I did receive this a few days ago. I have not tried it on my skin, on my face yet, but I did try it sort of just to see what it looked like on my hand and like right in here. And both colors are not going to work, I think. So let's get started on this. <laughs> It is oil free and it is matte. So with that in mind, because I can't stand full on matte foundation, I just think it's a miss when you do have mature skin. It's just so hard for it not to grab onto every dry skin cell, slip into those fine lines and full on wrinkles. So and I wanted to try everything I can myself to hopefully make this a positive experience with this product. So knowing that these really can look quite drying and make your mature skin not at its best, let's just say that. I made sure to really hydrate and moisturize my skin, prepping it for this foundation. So I did my serums like I normally do, which are water-based, and then I went in with my Tatcha Day Cream. I'll put the actual name of it here. But I'm gonna go ahead and take that up even another notch. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Rhonda Allison Infuse 7. This is a highly, sort of moisturizing oil blend you do not need much i am i really didn't even pump it yeah it just i have a drop here and i'm just going to get this going on my fingertips and i love using this around my eyes and i'm going to go ahead and do that and that tatcha day cream is really lovely it does keep my skin juicy especially if i layer it over the top of some hydrating serums that have nice hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid cucumber glycerin all of those great hydrating products but you got to seal that in or the dry winter environment is going to suck that right into the environment into itself take this another notch it's winter my skin goes another notch up the ladder when it comes to dryness so i'm gonna pop it in real lightly and i'm gonna take it where i know i get dry and really that's all i'm gonna do so this gives you they say right here on the bottle a soft finish it is a liquid foundation I'm going to go ahead and share with you the two colors that I got, just in case you have a similar skin tone. So I did the 101, which is porcelain, and I did the 102, which is called nude. I'm going to go ahead and show you these. So this is going to be the nude. So even though this is like a 101 and a 102, they're both for fair skin, they really jump up on the meter when it comes to the color. This of course is the porcelain and this is the nude. So. Neither one of these honestly are a hit. And I think mixing them, which let's go ahead and do that. That's what we get when we mix the two together. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know. But let's go ahead and try a little bit on this cheek, a little bit on this cheek. I'll let you know which color's what, and we'll take a look at them by themselves first. These look highly pigmented, so I'm thinking they're probably right. You probably could build this to a full sort of coverage. We will try that out. First, I'm gonna try the porcelain. I'm gonna do that here on this side. 
I'm going to pounce it on. Actually, it's not too bad, huh? Wow. Wow. Okay. That's pleasantly surprising. That's not too bad, right? It's a little off, but they usually are. Okay. That would make me look quite pale, but... You know, I, I think that might work. It's the littlest drop, honestly. This is not a lot at all. Yeah, this, this is just... This is not a good color, unfortunately. With just that tiny drop, I can do a lot on my face when it comes to, you know, covering ground. This one's way too orange, and um, I wouldn't like the way this made my skin look when I was done. This one is a lot more promising. So I'm actually gonna go and wash my face, put my skincare back on again, and we're gonna go in just with the porcelain here, which is the 101. I'll be right back. We are all juiced up, we are moisturized, hydrated. I'm giving this a very fair shake <laughs> to do well with my skin. So I'm gonna shake this up really well. I'm kind of excited. Let's see what a full face of the porcelain looks like on me. Again, I was really amazed at what just a single little drop did. So I'm gonna put a little bit more just because we're doing the full face. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with that match. I really was panicking. I really was panicking thinking, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a miss all the way around. I'm gonna do another little tiny drop. So one thing about matte foundations, you, you usually have to work pretty quickly. Um, so you might not wanna put it all over your face first. But I tell you what, I am really highly moisturized, so I think we're fine, we're okay. And as soon as I kind of get a really light layer, <laughs> I am going to go in again just to see if it is buildable. I am gonna be wearing this all day long today and then I am gonna check back in with you to let you know what was going on how it how it held up and all of that okay we got the first layer on finish is, is very pretty it, it isn't that really matte flat <laughs> finish that I thought it was gonna be um, it is a very skin-like natural finish. Hmm. Okay, let's just let's just take this up a little bit, just another notch, see exactly how buildable this is. You know, normally I'd be fine, very fine, just stopping right there. I'm not looking to cover up every little thing. Holy mackerel. Boy, they're not kidding. This is buildable. It definitely is buildable. So curious to see how this is going to perform today. Because, you know, sure, you know, it looks great right now, but how's it going to look even four hours down the way and then five. You know, that's really kind of the time period that I need my makeup to look nice is probably around five hours. Um, I, you know, I don't need to, to work eight to 10 hours a day. And so really I'm looking for about that. You know, for fun, let's do something here. I am, you know, I've always had sort of these patches here. Let's go in 
and see what this does. I'm just using, I used one drop and now I'm using about two drops. Well, you know, little dollops, not even dollops, literally drops. <laughs> literally wave. Kicking and screaming, have you seen that? It's a great movie. Fun, that's fun. And yes, I actually do. <laughs> I actually do put everything down here. I bring it to my neck and then I go like this on my chest. I do my serums that way. I do my moisturizers and, and whatnot that way. So obviously I didn't wash that off. I didn't have to redo that. But um, so yes, it feels very dewy and nice. Uh, it's very lightly put on there, believe it or not. So I'm not expecting any kind of transfer to my clothes. But yes, they are right. This is buildable. I'm not one to use foundation around my eyes. I feel like it's a whole different ball game there. And formulations for foundation aren't necessarily meant to be used around your eye area. Maybe they're too heavy. Maybe there are some active ingredients in there that you really don't want around your eye. So I never recommend doing that. I would allow the concealer to, to do its job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This this is this is exciting. The price point of this is very doable for me. So I am just so happy that I found a color because honestly, these were the only two options that I saw that could possibly work for me. Wow. I mean it's a it's probably about a half to to maybe even one full shade lighter than what it needs to be, but you know, I can work with that with the other steps in my makeup. Speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my makeup on and uh, I will see you a little later when I'm finished, which will be in really a snap of the finger with the magic of YouTube. And so I'm going to see you guys in a little bit, all ready to go. All right, so this is it. This is my final look today. And the wig that I am wearing is a Raquel Welch piece. It's called Editor's Pick Elite and it's in the color Shaded Biscuit. Looking at just my regular mirror here, it's, it's beautiful. I'm not one to gravitate toward more of that heavier spectrum medium coverage is about what I'm looking for these days. Uh, so I haven't really jumped to the full coverage. I have a full co a couple full coverage foundations and I just, I don't know, I can feel it on my skin. I feel like I'm wearing a true makeup mask, you know, and I don't, I like my skin. Yes, it's modeled. Yes, I have, you know, decades back sun damage going on there. Hence why I kind of gravitate more toward that medium coverage these days. But nonetheless, I still want that look of my real skin coming through, if not actually my real skin coming through. It's like, yes, I am 58. I don't have perfect skin anymore, but by Lord, I take good care of it. And I'm not afraid to, you know, have it out there to the world. And I don't go around walking around trying to please other people. It's all about me. But while this isn't stage makeup, you know, I still see some freckling and a little bit of those imperfections, but nothing like uh, light to medium coverage foundation. This was buildable. Uh, it feels, I don't feel like I have makeup on, which is incredible to me as I'm looking at the coverage that I got with this. Uh, it looks skin-like. It looks skin-like. You know, and as for just the hour or so that I've had it on, it's not starting to grab on to sort of those troubled areas that that I have going on. So, so far, the only thing that I can say is that I wish I could get a shade in between these two. <laughs> but I'm just happy to know that this worked enough for me to work with it and that, I, you know, it, it looks OK. 
There are bronzers you can use. There are warm finishers that you can use if that happens to you. And you can totally just make it work. You know, I am going to go ahead and step outside right now. And I want to see what this looks like in natural light, albeit it is dark and gloomy today. As a matter of fact, we're supposed to get some snow. But still, natural light is natural light. Ooh, we got some snow on the ground here. All right, this is uh, outside here. Boy, it is so cold. <laughs> it is so dark. Unfortunately, it would have been lovely to have a beautiful sunny day to show you this, but um, let me get this a little closer. Unfortunately, this is it for the natural light, you guys. This is it. <laughs> darn it. But I'm going to check back in at the very end of the day when I call it quits and I'll let you know what I think. <sighs> okay. My goodness, is it cold here? It is, uh, what time is it now? It's uh, almost four o'clock and it's 22 degrees out, I think. Very cold. Just got done doing really the main errand that needed to get done today. And my son went with me because he actually drove me to the grocery store. My husband had a long list of grocery store items to get. So we went ahead and did that. Back home. So what is that? That's a few hours. I'm going to check in one more time, uh, probably toward the evening. Uh, the last time to check in and, and really see what's going on. Hold on, my lips are so dry. I'm just. <clears throat> you know it. <laughs> this is the Tom Ford Bomb Frost lip balm. Uh, it's my favorite topper to put over the top of any lipstick, actually, but it is really a fabulous balm as well. So I love it. If you follow me at all, you know that. <laughs> So at this check-in, just a few hours down the way here, it's doing remarkably very well. Um, it hasn't budged, it hasn't settled, it hasn't really done anything. It looks very similar to what it did when I first applied it. I always lose my foundation right here. I mean, it's probably because I don't realize how often maybe I touch myself right in this chin area. But uh, yeah, foundation, it'll stick there. And, you know, it'll go on there, but it's just gone pretty quickly. So that's happened, but that happens with every single foundation that I use. Um, it looks really good right now. It isn't clinging. It isn't um, getting blotchy on me. Uh, Yeah. Something else that I really want to pay attention to is a lot of times foundations like this and especially drugstore foundations will just kind of magically disappear. Sometimes I don't even see it pulling or separating or migrating even. They just disappear. And so far, I don't see that, but I'm gonna pay close attention to that toward the end of the day here. So at this point, I give this two thumbs up. So okay, it is now, I think it's pretty close to nine o'clock at night. This is much longer than I would ask any foundation to perform for me. I don't need makeup to last this long, but did a kind of a fun little last minute thing. Uh, with my son and came back home, ate some dinner. <laughs> so here we are. And I've kind of taken my five times mirror here and I've given it a once over. Uh, and again, I'm taking into account the fact that it has been on my skin for a very long time. And with that in mind and, you know, counting that into the equation, I think this, oop, I got a little eyelash. I think this really performed very well. Um, I don't have anything left here, but I ate, I wiped my, I wiped my face and everything and, you know, lived my life. I didn't touch anything up. 
Um, it's definitely also disappeared right through here. You know, I just think I, th I see general fading. I see general fading on my nose and kind of just really kind of a, a little everywhere. But I still look like I have some on, you know, and I look like I've had my day and I and it's done and and everything is ready to come off basically. I checked in before we left and kind of took a quick perusal of my skin then. I want to say it was probably around 6:30 7 o'clock and uh, it looked better than it does now. I can say that One day. Uh, I loved how it went on. I really liked the way it felt. It was very light on my skin, yet had great coverage, good pigment, wasn't too thick. It hasn't settled, you know, anywhere. If anything, I would rather a foundation kind of slowly disappear and sort of go away or just kind of start fading rather than it pooling in certain areas and looking very blotchy. I have had that very experience and I'll probably be talking to you about that as well with a drugstore foundation very, very recently. Uh, and so I am impressed. I'm impressed with my first impression of it for sure. So far, so good. Again, I'm going to keep on wearing this and living with it for a while and see if this positive experience keeps, keeps happening. I'm going to sign off for this one and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.